Hi, I'm Barbara Rumkunis, and this is your Exeter History Minute. At our downtown bandstand, which is correctly named the Swayze Pavilion, there are brass band concerts held on Mondays during the month of July. The Exeter Brass Band was organized in 1847 and has performed continuously, well, until a one-year hiatus in 2020 due to the pandemic. Back in its early days, when it was still called the Exeter Cornet Band, a young Exeter blacksmith joined the band. His name was Charles Edward Tilton, but everyone called him Ed. Tilton went on to play with the band for over 60 years. Today's Exeter Brass Band has many fine musicians, but back in the day they were primarily amateurs, and I mean real amateurs, people who maybe had never played an instrument in their lives. They didn't have music class at school or end of the year elementary school band concerts, nothing like that. If someone wanted to be in the band, they were often handed an instrument and encouraged to learn it from the other players. These folks labored for hours at their day jobs and rehearsed once a week to prepare for concerts. Ed Tilton, probably because he was a blacksmith, was given the heavy E-flat tuba to play. He took to it with tremendous enthusiasm, so much so that fellow band member Henry Shute described it as readily identifiable at the distance of three miles. You get the impression that maybe the band wasn't that great? In 1882, the local newspaper description of the 4th of July concert <laughs> described it this way, we've heard the band played poorly before, but we never heard them when they approached the utter wretchedness of Tuesday night. At intervals, the bass covered himself with glory by drowning the others and overwhelming the individual discords with one colossal bray. At 10 o'clock, their concert ended to the delight of everyone present. People showed up, of course, because this was the only music they got to hear live. There's no radio, no phonograph, no MP3s. In spite of being the colossal bray described in the paper, Ed Tilton continued his run with the band. A new band leader, Carl Akeley, arrived in 1895 to get the players under control. They performed either on the front steps of the town hall or in a rickety wooden bandstand that was hauled into the town square for performances. Just climbing into the bandstand was dangerous. Tilton, who by this time was suffering from heart trouble, was told by his physician that if he kept playing the tuba, he'd drop dead during a concert. All right, Doc, he reportedly responded. That's just the way I want to go. I'll stick to the old horn. Whenever he was offered a blacksmithing job in another town during the summer, he'd turn it down. What the hell would the band do without me, he'd ask. In 1916, Ambrose Swayze had the new bandstand erected in the town square. It was smaller than the old one, but infinitely safer for the players. Tilton finally had to stop playing his tuba in 1920. The band held a benefit concert for him, which he sincerely appreciated. It turned out the band could go on without him. He died in 1921, but the Exeter Brass Band continues to perform. The band celebrated its 175th anniversary in 2022. Exeter TV made a nice documentary about it. Look it up. For other Exeter history, check us out at www.exeterhistory.org.